Hello and welcome back. In this video, you will be guided to creating your login uh, class in Falcon. So we can continue uh, when we're going back for Electron and code in Electron. So let's start. Going to your library and create a new file. We need to call it uh, the Python file. So we need to call it the uh, Authenticator. Whoops. What happened here? I just renamed it. Refract and should be Authenticator. And I refract it just here. And the first one should be import uh, Falcon. And then I want to make a class call it login. And it's object. Inside here it should be on post. It's when you're trying to log in. Um, I want to, re to request and respond. And inside here, I want to say start time. It's only to to uh, to our, ourselves so we can see how much time it's taking to to make this. So import time. And uh, then we need to connect for our, we need to connect to our Mongo database. And before we can do this, I need to say from a library, from library, we need to import a configuration because that's we can probably need. Uh, and then I want to say the Mongo here. And what should be the, the collection? The database, sorry, the database uh, we call it in the, in the config. So I will go into the config and say um, MongoDB and we need to the host and we need the port and then the database. The database, I already have it created here. It's called Electron Video Course. So, Electron Video Course. I will go in back for this one and say config uh, MongoDB and database. And we need the configuration here. I will put it inside here. Some uh, Next one, and I'll say here config, and then we are good to go. Everything is smooth, and the host in my case is my uh, my IP address, and the port is the default one. And I can never remember that, so it's twenty seven zero. 17 and that should be enough and go back and then we go in for the connections right away and if the account it's not none just say it here account to none then we go inside here else we want to uh, say the response status should be Falcon HTTP on this meaning you're not allowed to go inside here that's fine and before that I want to say response here status equal to Falcon HTTP status uh, 200 what's 200 here so if everything is going wrong it's always okay then i will create the output data uh, it's, it would be the data output so we get a response to our, our body when we request it and then i want the ip address that i want to request so i will say request access uh, route and then i want to say execute time Execute time should be a string and it should be uh, the time uh, here minus start time and then we get 
uh, how long time it's taking to execute it, uh, the data, and then we need the result. In this case, it's nothing right now. I will put it down here, so we have a better understanding what happened. And of course, I want to return the body. Uh, the body should be uh, response body. Uh, body is equal to dumps and should be the data output. Here we go. And dumps is not a part of it because we need to say from JSON, JSON, whoops, JSON, utility, import, dumps, and then we are good to go. And the next one should be if we are inside here, uh, the results. Let's just call it uh, this one because we can go inside to say it here, result. And what I want to uh, return when we are done is should be a token and should be the name of the the user and the token in my case is always uh, UUID it's because then you can rename the token and when we encrypt it and send it from the server to the client and back again we can verify it in this way so if it's uh, wrong I will just uh, say the result should be none, just in case. Let's starting it up. No, not, not yet. I will go in for the for the run file, and I will say start. But we need to go for the server and say login here, and we need to remove our sample up here. And then we need to pull import uh, from uh, fr from uh, the library, and then the authentication. We need to import the login, uh, and I want to rename it as user login, and it should be here. And I restart the app, and here I will open the my. Uh, REST client and I'll create a new request it's a post and I'll just say login that's fine and in a login I will prepare to a JSON just the empty one and localhost 8001 slash login let's see what happened here we get the uh, error and what happened here is uh, because the Mongo database connection doesn't take anything inside so let's fix this mistake I need to say which database we need to take from and then restart and I'll run it again and you can see it's having an error more and it's because it's a spelling error uh, it should be the method so MAT here and restart the app and then we should have something here yes now it's working we are not allowed to be inside and that's perfect now we want to make the the mongo again so we can confirm the user is basically working so let's go back for the this file and uh, then continue to 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 create the account i want to say the account should be a part of the connection and we call it the account we can call it users so it's more generic for you and uh, we want to find one and then we want to say the email that's what we want to search for and the data we, we go in the inside should be the username and that's fine for now if the user is exist we remove this if this exists it's perfect uh, but we need the data and the data should be the request media before data is equal to request media and then we have it to work with 
So we want to go back for our Mongo here and create the collection. It should be users as we expect. And in the user, I will create one username with the email. Let's call it the yeah, let's call it my mail contact at parasnikita.com and my name should be surprise parasnikita kaiser and my token for now should be test i'll replace this later and then save and if you if we rename this i'll go in for this one the result should be whoops the token and should be my name and save it and reload it and go back for, for this one if I'm going inside it should be some mistake here because we don't have it the data user does not exist but let's handle it a little bit uh, username should be contact and then the password does not exist right now, so just go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine for now. And it's it in again. You can see here you're going inside and 404. And that's meaning it's jumping in here. So the username and the email doesn't fit in. I will just see about what happened here. Email and cut the value and go in again and I'll replace it and try again something is uh, wrong and we need to discover what's going wrong to be sure we have the right data inside here we need to print out and restart the app and do it here again you can see you have my username that's fine data so what we can do now is just to try to print out the account to confirm everything here is it's okay and we basically get nothing from the database so something is wrong we can go inside to say the email is correct the email here with the name and we start again and something is still wrong so we have an error here we need to discover uh, and, and figure out what happened one of the possibility of the error could be we have the wrong database name like this if I have a, a spelling error here uh, in my config file here and then this could make the reason and we can check E L E C and we need a C Let's see, we need more T R O N video curses. No. Then let's uh, restart our application again and rerun it. And now we are in together for the login. So for the next one, we need to uh, check the passwords and we need to uh, generate a right uh, token for us. So let's uh, beginning to implement the password. We will go down here to remove our print functions, so it's not the uh, stay inside here. If, when we confirm there will be a user, we will go inside and ask if the account password is equal to uh, the data uh, password, then we can accept it, else we will decline it else and we'll go down a we'll copy this one and I know this is will be weird for you because we don't have it encrypted but this is not the part of this video restart your application go inside for a mongo and add the field password and in this case I'll call it the uh, one two three four five six seven too long and then we save it again and let's go up and I have it here and see we're locked in and if I remove the six it should be not be locked in that's perfect 
and you're not gonna get it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will of course continue to we are done with this and I hope you enjoy this uh, video and of course subscribe it. My code could be found on my github. I will be in the part tree here and uh, I will uh, just say this to, uh, to none and I hope you want to subscribe my channel like it if you want and of course share to your friends and uh, if you have any questions please make them below I will try to answer them thank you so much and I hope you want to watch the part 4 see you next time